What's going on, people, and welcome back to another video. I'm doing this brief update on Kanika Jenkins' case, which I recently learned has been reopened, and that uh, Teresa Martin, Kanika's mother, she is being represented by a different lawyer from the one I remember the last time I checked on any updates. Now, I do not know the name of the new lawyer who's representing her, but I heard he's a well-known, high-profile lawyer out of the Detroit area. And apparently he wins, if not most, all of his cases. I've also learned that there was a news conference in which the lawyer and both Kanika's mother, Teresa Martin, was present together. Uh, the lawyer mentioned that the only new details that he discovered in the case is that um, Kanika was found in the freezer that was locked. That can only be locked from the outside. And along with that, he showed like an enlarged photo of evidence to prove that um, those type freezers has to be locked from the outside. And um, in order, you know, for for it to be locked and secured from anyone in there to be able to come out, those freezers would have to be locked and only locked from the outside. Uh, and he also showed the original photo, the original, um, a photo of the original freezer that Kanika was found dead in. The law, he also mentioned that, um, with this case being reopened, that all security that worked at the hotel that night had been notified and they are willing to cooperate and answer any questions to the best of their knowledge of whatever happened that night leading up to Kanika's disappearance. Now, one of the reporters asked him, so are you saying that they, you know, like, you first, you know, you're certain that they locked her in there, you know. And he was like, I'm not saying that at all. I'm not saying that at all. I am saying that someone locked her in there. The lawyer mentioned that security may have locked the door after finding out that Kanika was missing once that the hotel was notified that there was a, a, a missing person wandering around the hotel. And that she was in there, you know, like, what, for 24 hours? And so he said, we're, we're just not saying that they knew for sure. We just know that somebody locked her in there. He said his sole purpose on working on this case is just to get the truth revealed. He said that it can even take years before this case is solved, but he's going to put in the work to find out how did Kanika get locked in that freezer. Because um, there's a lot of speculations on, you know, friends could have had something to do with it. Certain security guards could have had something to do with it. And we've seen so many videos and everybody, you know, started to come up with their own conclusions. But, you know, so many people were drawn to this case because it's just so strange that so many people were around her and nobody knows. So a reporter also asked Teresa, how is she doing? And she said that she's still in disbelief and in pain. And she feels, you know, like the pain that she feels behind losing her daughter. She couldn't even explain it. I mean, that's pretty much all she said, along with tearing up. So, I always see Teresa on Facebook, though, and on her Facebook lives, and it just seems like she always holding it together pretty good, as strong as a mother could. But at the same time, I can only imagine a pain that's, like, sitting, like, right under the surface of the smile you always see her in, and the happiness it's like you got to know that there's so much hurt and pain like sitting right underneath that and she just doing her best to hold herself together all this time. And so anyway, that was pretty much it. The lawyer just came and did a brief update in front of like a, um, a group of news reporters and Teresa was right sitting right next to him. He also had the large photo showing the picture of the freezer that Kanika was in. 
And yeah, he just waiting to talk to everyone who's associated with the company who worked there that night. And just to, you know, put all the pieces together and hopefully finally get some closure for um, Ms. Martin from the death of her daughter. But um, I'll do an update on this case if anything else becomes available. But as for now, I just want to thank you all for watching. And I'll talk to you soon.